hey, well, this is part three, and we're going to loop over a string again. So just to make sure that there is a complete version of this, we're going to show this going, what's going on with the string. But it's the exact same idea we've been up to. If we have a string, we can get the length. The strings are indexed using uh, numbers that start at zero. So the same idea applies to an array that applies to a string. And we just did this with a for loop for an array and a while loop for a string and a while loop for an array. So not going to spend a ton of time going over this. But we'll show two examples, one where we have uh, index is equal to zero. This is a typo that should not be there. But with this, let's go ahead and log all the values in JavaScript to the console. Looking good. So we're going to complete a function that takes one parameter, a string of characters, and logs all of its characters one at a time to the console. Your function should use a for loop to log each character from the beginning to the end of the string, then return nothing. Below is an example of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, <clears throat> loop a string again. There's our stub. Here are our test cases. <clears throat> again, we're not saving anything as a result. We're just logging stuff to the console. And I'm going to try to get through the rest of this video without coughing too loudly, because you know you can get that tickle in the back of your throat. String.length. There's a G in there somewhere. I++. Plus plus. And we're going to log the current string character, which is going to be string at i, to the console. And that's all. Just getting some practice right in our for loops. Eventually, we'll make them more complicated. But for now, everything that we've... Well, let's first let's do the input thing and the good shape stuff. And we're in good shape. Okay, so a few things to take note of before we get to the next part. Everything that we just did is basically identical between while loops and for loops. Uh, and the stuff that we're about to do is also very similar. So I think we're going to go into things like iterating over every other element, uh, starting somewhere other than, you know, at index zero, uh, iterating in reverse, using break and continue, which are two um, keywords which will let you either end your loop entirely or end the current iteration of the loop. Um, but they're going to apply across both for and while loops. So we're just going to go through the example with for loops. But you want to keep in mind that you could do the same thing with while loops for almost everything that we're about to do. And as we just demonstrated, everything that we just did with a for loop is something we did with a while loop. So with that in mind, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.